good evening everyone let us see how to derive wiener hopf equations derivation of wiener hopf equations in an fir wiener filter let us consider the design of fir wiener filter which produces a minimum mean squared estimate of the given process d of n minimum mean squared estimate of the given process by filtering a set of observation uh, which are statistically related processes let us assume that x of n and d of n are jointly weights in stationary random processes stationary processes whose autocorrelations for example rxx of k and rdx of k are known to us with this assumption let us start deriving the equations called wiener hopf equations so let's identify first of all the system function of uh, the wiener filter w of z where w of n are all called as impulse response of the wiener filter optimum filter impulse response of the wiener filter okay what is the order of the filter now 0 to p minus 1 so obviously order of the filter is yes 0 to p minus 1 p order wiener filter let's see what is the input to this or what is the expected output from this wiener filter where x of n is the input you know that x of n is the input to the wiener filter whose system function is given by w of z which is expected to estimate d cap of n where x of n is actually the combination of d of n and v of n this is what we have seen earlier what is d cap of n? d cap of n it is the minimum mean squared estimate of the output desired output which is actually the convolution of impulse response of the filter and the input so w of k multiple convolved with x aspects of k, x of k so if it is written in a convolution formula w of l multiplied by x of n minus l wiener filter design problem requires that we need to determine the filter coefficients w of k or w of n w of k or w of n k is equal to 0 1 2 3 etc p minus 1 which minimizes the mean squared error this mean squared error estimate must be minimum at the end of the design the designed filter coefficients must produce the minimum mean squared error in the sense it should be the close estimate right what is minimum mean squared error d of n minus d cap of n the whole square expectation of this one okay so let's see uh, in order to find set of filter coefficients that minimize the minimum mean squared error mean squared error it is necessary and sufficient that we have to derive we have to find out the differentiation derivative of zeta with respect to w of w asterisk of k these are all the filter coefficients for which the uh, mean squared error is set to be zero or minimum so it is expanded we know that zeta is equal to expectation of e of n the whole square zeta stands for expectation of modulus of e of n the whole square that's why we say e of e of n into e asterisk of n okay this is what substituted in this place so when it is differentiated with respect to w asterisk of k obviously uh, you will have do do by do w asterisk of k with respect to e asterisk of n this is the expected value but before writing the answer for this i just want to say a few lines about error what is e of n e of n is equal to d of n minus d cap of n what is d of n d of n is the expected output 
what is the actual output where L is equal to 0 to P minus 1 if it is a P order filter W of L into X of N minus L isn't it when we differentiate it or because of the expected conjugation if you conjugate and if you differentiate this with respect to W asterisk of K you will find out only for one term the entire expression this will become zero only for one term the differentiation will result in minus x asterisk of n minus l or n minus k if it is differentiated with respect to k n minus k so i just want to say the rate of change of e asterisk with respect to w asterisk of k is equal to minus x asterisk of n minus k okay good if you know this result you can very well proceed to the next level what could be done because if you want to find the filter coefficients you have to minimize minimize what is that rate of change of performance measure with respect to W asterisk of K is equal to 0 set it equal to 0 so you can find out that expectation because I have told you already E of n is equal to D of n minus D cap of n and you know that for the optimum filter coefficients the rate of change of mean squared error with respect to W asterisk of K is equal to simply expectation of E of n multiplied by rate of change of E asterisk of n with respect to W asterisk of K isn't it? it is equal to 0 for this term we have found out that this results in minus X asterisk of n minus K right we have found out that so if you substitute this will become E of E of n multiplied by X asterisk of n minus K is equal to 0 ok this is called orthogonality or principle of projection orthogonality projection E of n and X asterisk of n the cross correlation between these two the second order statistic says that it is equal to 0 not only for one value for all values of k k is equal to 0 k is equal to 1 k is equal to 2 k is equal to 3 k is equal to p minus 1 for all those values you can say that the expectation of E of n X asterisk of n minus k is equal to 0 agree so let's let's find out how it could be extended to the derivation d of n and d cap of n this is the error measure isn't it then when, let me multiply by x as 6 of n minus k on both the sides and in the place of d cap of n you know that this is actually obtained by the convolution of filter coefficients with the input okay simply d of n and d as d cap of n is taken multiplied by x as 6 of n minus k with those two terms we will find out and equate it to 0 if I set it to equal to 0 say for example uh, if I apply expectation on each term present here expectation is applied expectation is applied you can find out that expectation is suitable only on x of n minus l into x asterisk of n minus k when we apply expectation we find out that this is equal to this can be set to 0 so d of n x as 6 of n minus k can be reduced to 0 only by setting what is this e of what is this term <coughs> d of n multiplied by x as 6 of n minus k stands for r d x of k isn't it expectation of x of n minus l into x as 6 of n minus k stands for r x x of k minus l isn't it good so this is what written as r dx of k and r x x of k minus l right so when i rearrange the term this will become simply the wiener hopp equation wiener hopp equation says w of l multiplied by r x x of k minus l is equal to r dx of l which is of p linear equations you can find out that it goes up to 
zero to p minus one. P linear equations for every k, k is equal to zero, one, two, three, etc. P minus one. For every k, it will be set up as a linear equation with p unknowns, zero, one, two, three, etc. W of zero is not known. W of one is not known. W of two is not known. Like that, this can be extended in a matrix format like this, right? The matrix R x x of zero, R x x of one. R x x of two, R x x of p minus one. If I tilt this, it is conjugated, right? Over the diagonal, you can find out that it becomes R x x of zero, right? The lower diagonal, upper diagonal matrix. Uh, sorry, uh, lower triangular matrix and then upper triangular matrix. So the terms will be W of zero, W of one, W of two, W of three, W of p minus one. These are all called vector of What is it? Vector of weights, Wiener filter coefficients. Whereas R d x of zero, R d x of one, R d x of p minus one are all called cross correlation coefficients. Vector of cross correlations. So you should know what is R x x. R x is a matrix. It's a p by p Hermitian matrix. Hermitian Toeplitz matrix of autocorrelation. Hermitian Toeplitz matrix of autocorrelation. Whereas W is the vector of Uh, filter coefficients and R D X is the vector of cross correlations. This is called Wiener op equations.